Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore. Okay, you ready for another uh, hot sauce made with the world's hottest pepper, the Carolina Reaper? Well, I've got one here for you guys. Uh, this is Firewalker Running with the Reaper Extra Hot Sauce. Just check out that cool looking label. Love that label on there. Now, this is made in Asheville, North Carolina, just a couple of hours uh, away from where I live here. Now this was sent to me from the owner of Franco Donahue. There he is right there. I did review his uh, Firewalker hot sauce, uh, his regular one made with just habanero peppers uh, earlier this year and just thought it was a very, very good sauce. Awesome hot sauce. Very uh, zesty and citrus and fruit forward hot sauce. Very flavorful. Now, uh, Franco says that he grew up loving uh, spicy foods and he really searched for a sauce with the perfect balance of both spice and flavor. And that's how he created, um, that's why he created a Firewalker hot sauce. Now, they say that this one, of course, made with Carolina Reapers, uh, is an extremely uh, unique flavor forward blast of citrus and garlic with a lucid kick, this time utilizing the record breaking hottest pepper in the world. The Carolina Reaper. He believes that, uh, you know, too often super hot sauces are inedible for everyday consumption and simply taste like a river of lava. And so uh, he really puts a lot of uh, work into his sauces to make them very flavorful. And he's really ramped up the heat this one, uh, this time by um, putting in the Carolina Reaper. And he says, we promise if you like living on the edge and pushing your taste buds to the max, then our running with the Reaper Extra hot sauce will free your sensors, not drag them to the underworld. All right, now no artificial ingredients, no uh, GMOs, no sugar, no need to refrigerate, no reason not to run with the Reaper. All right, now he's got this one rated, uh, he's got a heat scale here, and he's got this one rated a um, 8 out of 10. So we shall see. Well, let's go ahead and read the ingredients on this one. We start off, it says made with the uh, finest vinegar. Oranges, lemons, limes, carrots, hand-selected habanero and Carolina Reaper peppers, pineapple, garlic, salt, and secret spices. Handmade in Asheville, North Carolina. Spread the heat. Very low in sodium, only 15 milligrams of sodium. Now, I have tried this out already. Uh, this is very, very good. Very similar to his original one. I'll put a picture of the original Firewalker hot sauce right there. Um, kind of the uh, uh, same basic flavor profile, except uh, this one's got Reapers in it, so it is uh, much hotter than the original. But this stuff is awesome on lots of different types of food. Now, I'll put a picture right up here. I had this stuff on some Indian-style chicken and rice. Thought that was very, very good. It's very good on eggs in the morning. Um, it's a good hot sauce to put on fish uh, because it's very zesty and kind of fruity. Uh, very good on fish. I think it's uh, good on pizza as well. Uh, so uh, lots of things you can do with this particular hot sauce. And I love the color on this one. Pretty much the same as the original one. Love the um, consistency on this one. All right, well, let's go ahead and check this out. Did come with a flow restrictor, but I went ahead and took that off. Okay, you get a nice um, uh, uh, zest, zesty citrus blast. A little bit of the garlic coming through, but this one is very um, lemon lime zesty forward. A little bit of the oranges and the pineapple give it that fruitiness, but I would say it's uh, just like the original one, a little bit more um, citrus forward than fruit forward. The savoriness of the garlic coming through a little bit. All right, now this one has more a uh, peppery smell to it. All right, mm, great aroma on this one. Okay, let's check this out. And let's go running with the Reaper, shall we? All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. Woo! You can definitely taste the Reapers in here a little bit. Once again, like the aroma, you get a nice zesty um, lemon lime flavor. Um, you get a little bit of fruit from the oranges and the pineapple. I think the carrots are, are in here. Kind of a, 
calming things down a little bit, giving a little more smoothness to it. And of course, they can kind of tame the heat from habaneros and, and, and reapers, of course, as well. But the reapers, you know, it's just going to take a lot to tame that down. So you're getting a pretty much quickly a nice all over burn. It's not crazy hot, uh, but it's a, it's a nice burn on this one. Um, very citrus forward, a little bit fruity, a uh, very, very zesty sauce. So I, I just love this. This is really, really good. You don't really taste the vinegar. Uh, vinegar is up front. It's not salty at all. It's not too sweet. Now it's actually starting to kind of a uh, burn just a little bit on the back of the throat. And that's what the Reaper does. But really, really great job on this, Franco. Um, on flavor, this is really, really way up there. This is highly recommended. I'm going to rate this the same as I did for the original one. Um, very, very good job. A 9 out of 10 for flavor. This is a really, really good hot sauce. You got to like um, kind of citrus, lemon, lime, but the fruit balances that out as well. You got the oranges, you got the pineapple, and then with carrots and, and the garlic and other secret spices in here with those peppers. I mean, this is really a great hot sauce. This is a good chili head hot sauce. You can actually taste the reapers just a little bit. Um, and on heat, uh, it's not an 8 out of 10 on my 1 to 10 scale. Um, I was thinking 6 or 7. It's got a pretty good burn on it. So um, I think I'll have to go with a 7 out of 10 for heat on this one from Firewalker Running with the Reaper Extra Hot Sauce. Highly recommended, guys. I believe that this is a limited release. A um, little tag here came with it. Limited release, so I don't know how long this will continue to be made. Uh, but check it out on Facebook at Firewalker Hot Sauce and the website simply is firewalkerhotsauce.com. Highly recommended products, uh, so you can't, don't go wrong with getting these. Make sure you check it out. Thanks, Franco, for sending it. I appreciate it. And thanks, everybody, for watching. And until the next time, woo, enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.